check out the difference between the Datalite flash file system and the default standard drivers that are included on Windows Embedded CE 6.0. So we have two identical systems here, a TI OMAP 3530 processor with 2 gigs of raw NAND, and both systems are running CE 6.0. And on the Datalite side, our video playback demo app here is running smoothly. You can see in the lower right hand corner our latency ball meter is bouncing along smoothly showing the efficient operations of the file. And our file updates to uh, record the position of the video file are happening roughly every second or so on schedule. And on the default driver side, you can see that the video starts to freeze up and the latency ball meter is stuttering as file updates happen showing that system resources are taxed. Also, the updates are happening less frequently and taking longer to update. So this is really showing you the difference in performance between the Datalite flash file system and the default drivers. So the other difference that I'm going to show you in just a minute is the difference in reliability between the two systems. So imagine that you've lost power in your embedded system, which as you know is a pretty common occurrence. So I'm going to shut down both systems simultaneously and we'll see what happens as they come back online. So the video demo app is made to bring the video back to the exact position that it was shut down in. And on the data light side you can see that's exactly what happens here. But on the default driver side we get an error message saying the video file has to be rebuilt because it's been corrupted due to unexpected power failure. So this really highlights the difference in reliability between the standard default drivers that you get on CE6.0 and the upgraded Datalite flash file system.